<laughs> I'm, I'm recording. Anyway, hey guys. So, <laughs> hey, uh, I, I don't know. I don't Would know, you riff me? <laughs> I don't know how much of that I got, if I'll be honest with you. Anyway, anyway, Garber wants to talk about tanks because he had a tweet and it went really big over his. Yep. What, what was it? The Jaeger Abrams? The, 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 the fucking Yagbrams. <laughs> Yagbrams. I mean, yeah. I don't know how well it would work. So. You know, so th so th this is a, a model I had done up for for artists to use as a reference. So, um, like the barrel, the barrel should be bigger, right? All and right. that forty mic mic um, two will be on a rotational dais that moves around towards the barrel as as, as the thing moves. But within this tank, you know, because dwarves are going to dwarf, there's actually an because usually there's a mantlet on outside of these that protect the uh, the gun itself. This has an internal mantlet that slides along a groove on the inside of that tank. So, it, so it's got a limited tra a, a limited traverse as it is, um, and then that that big metal piece in the middle right there, where, kind of where the arrow's coming from, um, would be a huge like leather cover that kind of covers it, makes sure it can't, can't, can't get full of dirt and shit. Okay. Well, and then and then uh, and then he's he, then he uses he uses that uh that uh, fucking Swedish tanks like hydraulic system to go up and down if, if he needs to. Uh, so, but Garbo is it as cool as the steam tank from forty from Warhammer Fantasy? <laughs> What? So, oh. uh, like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it's pretty bulger. I'm sorry to say, I forgot to say, actually, guys. So, yeah, th this uh, this video is just us talking about tanks because tanks mm -hmm. are cool. And I tanks are cool and fuck you. <laughs> did you. Oh, did you guys know? Did you guys know how how the name tank came about? It was actually a code name. I, f I hate that story. I hear it all the time. It's like one of the most like. Did you guys know there was a code story for a giant water uh, tank? Uh, Fucking crazy. You watch any documentary about tanks, and no matter what, without fail, they're going to put that in. It's like, look, um, I, I think that's I, I, anyone who's interested in tanks knows that. Okay, can you? Can you does not fucking care. <laughs> yeah, it's like no, but it was actually a code name, so it was. Uh, all this uh, well, you see, it's actually a code name for it. Yeah, well, you know what? It actually did make sense because, like, again, World War One. How do you actually bring water up to the front? It actually is quite a difficult yeah. task. You know, it, it is one of those ones. It does make sense. You know. Well, like, I mean, think about tanks. Tanks have been around forever now. And the best thing about tanks are not just real life tanks, which are cool. They really are. But also the fantasy tanks that people just dream up. Like, my first fantasy tank love was, was the fucking SV-01 from Metal Slug. Oh, like, that little goofy that? boppy tank. SV-01, uh, SV it should right. be. The, 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 the 001. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, man. that was my that was my first my first like my, my first sci-fi tank love was the the, the the metal slug tank. Oh, that's pretty cool. And because it, it's a one-person tank, and it's, it's a really cool like sprite animation in the game too. Like like bobs up and down. Mm -hmm. It was like this thing is cool as shit. And then, like it, remember because I like tanks to begin with. I like like the chaffy starting out, and you know the American and German tanks fuck Russia. Yeah, um, honestly, I, you know what? That's something else that just annoys me to no end. Like, don't get me wrong. Okay, look, okay. What, what do you call them? Well, 234 actually uh, won World War II on its own. Uh, <laughs> look, I get it. Supplies matter. Okay, guys, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't have the fucking cold factor. And that's all that matters when it comes to tanks. Cold factor. And you know what's the that case. That's orcs. <laughs> you, like, honestly, all I've said is, guys, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, look at that French tank. You know that Fre uh, French? World War One on tank, big cannon. You know the one that was in all oh. in the West. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, again. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know it was a prototype, and I know it was. It was a literal artillery piece on, on a tractor. So yeah. I, I mean, like, it's cool at all. Was it useful? Did they even? Did, did they only make like eight of them in total? Yeah. Mm. But you can't say it's not fucking cool, guys. You know what I mean? Like, come on. But uh, but so what? So what is your favorite fancy tank though? Like the one you're fantasy like, this is my tank? first favorite fancy tank. And don't oh. say fucking 40k. I'm gonna slap you upside your god. Um, you know what? Okay, you, uh, you know what? I'm gonna count it, even though it's not a tank. Uh, play an AT-80. Oh, I, and I don't care. <laughs> Is it from Star Wars? Yeah, like you told me you didn't mean Battle of Hoth peak. All right, and and, and and pink. It was pink, and you know what? No one can take that away. It just was cool. You, you like? I'm sorry if you don't like the Battle of Hoth. There's something not quite like with you. You know what I mean? There, there just is. If you don't like Hoth, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? And that's that's one of the things I've come to the point where. Um, so I was keeping up with the new Star Wars to a certain extent. Like you know, mm. uh, Mandalorian the first few seasons were dead on. Uh, I didn't mind the Book of Boba Fett. It was okay. You know, it wasn't mm. great by any means, but 
but like I just um I tried to watch that last season of it and I was like, you know what, this is so fucking boring and I didn't even try Ahsoka or whatever you call it. This like, is so gay. I don't want to watch it anymore. Yeah, so it's one of those ones like I'm I'm at the point where, you yeah, know what, I I like I like old Star Wars. Um the old canon is my canon and I if I just don't pay attention to it, it's cool. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of where yeah, I'm at. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, ATATs, really cool. I know it's a walker. I know you guys are going to shout at me. He's like, James, it doesn't really count as a tank. It's like, well, it's it, a tank. There's no tracks on it. Well, man. you know what? Actually, it's can an I, armor vehicle. Well, yeah. Oh, it, it, yeah, exactly. And also on that, do, can I count Metal Gear? Oh, you know what? No, my first one, my first one oh, ever. Metal Gear. Yeah, it was the Shagahad. <laughs> the fucking Shagahad. Shagahad tank. I remember, Metal like, a, lo- like, a lot of guys got their first sci fi tank love from also, like, from from a command and conquer oh me what was the overlord the chinese one from command conquer generals Uh. (laughs) that thing was deadly though that thing was that thing was broken you know what i mean like that Mm. one was so good but again like okay who did you play in command and conquer generals because for me if it was gla it was toxic general if it was americans it's a tough one because everyone does love the air force but super weapons and lasers fly high uh, they're they're <laughs> they're top tier as well honestly the americans were just really good in command and conquer generals like they really were the best and then when it came mm-hmm. to like the chinese honestly the nuke general is fun i do like his one uh infantry general is very good as well honestly the only the, honestly the only armies that i wasn't really fussed on was i didn't care for the demolitions one uh, the GLA one and the, the, oh, the yeah, stealth, yeah, yeah. stealth one I always thought was boring as shit because like there were so many ways around it. Oh, stealth games. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, this sucks. Like, yeah. I, don't, I don't play Command Conquer to play a stealth mission. Yeah, no. it's just not for me. But yeah, Shagahad. I'm, I'm going to call Shagahad for me. Uh, my first Metal Gear Solid was Metal Gear Solid 3. So it was. And, you know, for me, it was off peak. Absolute peak. Even though it's such a ridiculous tank. Like, it really is. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Is, yeah. it, it, it's a tank in the 60s that could go that like, could drive th- what was it like fucking what was the speed it went up to was it 300 miles an hour or 3000 miles an hour it was some absolutely god insane it's like yeah it just drives really fast and then it can like launch nukes and can hit anywhere on the planet you know hold <laughs> anti-grav go burn <laughs> yeah pretty much even though it's got like fuck it, it doesn't even have fucking wheels it's got treads and them fucking like drill things at the front oh I mean Shaggy had to kill as fuck uh, though yeah type in m577 uh m5 now seven, seven. it's not it's not a proper tank but no 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 space no space oh right okay oh yeah. so it's like an old so, it's an Ibra- no, it's- no 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 that's hold on it's like a so, no, no 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 go go up to the search bar all right let's go search bar type in space aliens aliens yeah right there aliens yeah this thing <laughs> Mate, that's oh yeah, yeah. Like no, it's not, it's not a proper tank. It's technically, it's technically an APC, but it was pretty fucking cool. It, 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 no, like, that was fucking cool. Yeah, that was actually pretty peak as well. Honestly, now how did they do it though with Alien? So like, like first Alien movie, pretty top tier. No one, dude, no one can deny they, that. This ruined Aliens over time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yeah, because I, I went through it all about not was it, yeah it was about last year, about a year and a half ago maybe two years ago I said you know what I've never watched all of the Alien movies like I've seen them but like I haven't watched I, I was like you know what I'll watch them all back to back so I watched Alien then Aliens Alien Three I was like oh Alien Three is kind of shit man not gonna lie and then it was the one with uh, what do you call that troll man do you know that you know the guy with like the fucked up face and he's like hey Donnie. Um, oh, what do you call him, Ginger Fella? And everyone thinks he's hard, uh, but like I don't. I, he, he played Hellboy. Ah, oh, fuck! I can't. They're going to be shouting me in the comments. Uh, anyway, I don't get the appeal about him. No, no, James, you fucking idiot. He, like, the, but the guy, like, you know what? You know what annoys me about it? He always plays like a tough guy or whatever. He just doesn't look that tough to me. He just looks like an ogre. You know what I mean? Like he, he, he just, he just doesn't look hard. Right? He's just fucking ugly. He's just a fuck. <laughs> he is just fucking ugly. Although to be fair, he was quite good in that. Um, that uh, the Keeve Man movie, you seen that one? Uh, Quest for Fire. I haven't, se- I haven't seen that. What? Movie. Neat. Hold on. Quest for Fire. Um, actors. I don't get his name. Uh, yeah, this fucker. What do you call him? Oh, Ron okay, Perlman. Yeah, yeah. Ron Perlman. There we go. Oh, so, oh <laughs> you, you you meant Ron Perlman the entire time? Yeah. <laughs> Why who the fuck did you think I was talking about? Like ogre? What the fuck? <laughs> God, W. Ron Perlman doesn't look like an ogre. I mean, he's Ron Perlman. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Like, uh, 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 everyone knows Ron as fucking Hellboy, though. I know. To be fair, Hellboy is actually quite good. I'll give him that. I just don't like... Like, you said, you know, the kid man. I was like, what, like, like fucking uh, Encino Man? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> 
<laughs> no, fucking stick in the dump. <laughs> never mind, never mind. You wouldn't get that one. Anyway, anyway, look, back on wow, point. Back. Well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't get it, American. You, you would, I don't even think many English people would get it either, if I'm honest with you. Anyway, anyway, back on to Aliens. Honestly, top tier movie. How the fuck did... And they did it the same with Terminator, though. Sorry for my lead. I can't help myself. But, like, the first one, like, the first Terminator movie is kind of like a horror movie, and, like, the first Alien movie is a horror movie. And then the second well, one... It was kind of like... Because because Aliens was a sci-fi horror movie, and yeah. then technically Terminator was a sci-fi horror movie. Yeah, it really was like I, but both that are... fucking cop is a fucking horror show. Kind yeah, of shit. and then they both of them they turn into like action movies, but they're really solid action movies. So I how can they not make action movies anymore, man? You know what I mean? Like when was the last... well, they tried and they all just sucked absolute cock. Like they they really did try. They tried so hard for a while, and they just fucking. Sucked. Yeah, and like you know, the worst thing is they can't even get new actors in. Like, look at the fucking expandables. It's a pack of pensioners. You know what I mean? It's like boys in their seventies. Mm. You know, is that really the best you can do, guys? Really? But yeah, no, <laughs> is, that, is, it, is that the best you can do? Really? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's a fucking cool tank. So it is. You know, come to think of it, like, why did they? They never really got anything about it in Starship Troopers. You think they um, would? Well, no. So the worst part is, is that the actual Starship Troopers universe has like mechs and tanks yeah, and shit. But but it only showed drop ships and infantry. That was it. To be fair, though. To, go upset, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair, they did agree. Uh, you know what? What is it? What is it with fucking Starship Troopers? Every few months, it's like, oh, Starship Troopers is fascist. Uh, it's not actually. Do you know what? Imagine Star- my surprise. The liberals are being <laughs> bugs again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love Love that i fucking love that man. imagine that the liberals side with the murderous bug people <laughs> mm. yeah yeah okay it's <laughs> <Big sector. funk. laughs> yeah well it came up due to hell divers 2 which is basically <laughs> hell divers 2 is just a better starship troopers in my opinion for super earth for democracy yeah i, no, I, I want to i want to pick it like, up um actually the hell divers guys are fascist and bad and you're bad for playing it people are like lol bug lover <laughs> yeah <laughs> i fucking love that shit honestly it's so funny uh you know like anyway anyway sorry back back on to the to the uh, uh, m577 tank sorry i sorry i couldn't help myself so this thing is actually quite cool because they built this on a fucking pusher for aircraft and they tracked on this movable turret and that front turret and to me it's like i like i like it's, it's got a good vibe for an apc not a lot of ground clearance for yeah APC, it's got a good, it has, it has a cool vibe for an apc you got a little front turret there and the turret that can come over the top and aim at shit it's just cool to me like it is that you know a, the, 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 that was a cool sci-fi I mean, it's, it's got sloped armor it's got a hell of a fucking r- a shot catcher <laughs> that fucking thing but yeah. it, like it, it looks cool and futuristic and it, it, it's kind of like a well that's kind of cool in the d- show it does and you know what it kind of reminds me of like you know well i suppose when you can't like call the new batmobile but like you know the, the christian oh, yeah, B- yeah, yeah, yeah. the christian beale yeah. batmobile you know what i mean the high-tech mobile yeah like. you know it's like does it come in black <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> where are we going with this? Be like, where we? Uh, where do so you want to go? go? So, go, go, so, what's your favorite World War One tank? We'll start there and, and, and go through the. Uh, all right. Go okay. So, I would argue the. Okay. So, my favorite's a Mark IV. However. I'm. I know a lot of people are going to argue with me. I do think the Leonard is actually probably one of the best World War One tanks. Like it actually was really good. You know. Um, this is people, why your cats bring you frogs. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good tank. Okay. It actually is a good tank and it was really good for the time period. But a Mark One is just. Or sorry, a Mark Four is just super fucking aesthetic. There's no other way around it. It just is. It, it to me, it's the de- definitive tank. You know what I mean? Well, at least the definitive World War One tank. You know, but it's got the shape, right? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. And again, look, it's got that tanky shape. Yeah, it's got the it's got the shape that I just love. You know what I mean. And like, you know, it, look, it for, like it did the job. What it was what it was designed to do was what it did well. It went over. It was able to get over hard terrain. It was able to go over. It shot the shit. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, to a certain extent. And like, you know, don't don't get me wrong. It wasn't perfect, but for the time period and how quickly it was developed and all that sort of stuff, it was really top tier genuinely and like honestly i would say the germans were i would i would say the german army was the best army of world war one by a big margin and even they were fucking trying to steal 
British Mark IV tanks. So that's all I got to say. Well, they did. They did because they because they 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 had the the A7. I think they really had a tank. Kind of shit, man. It needed so many people to drive it. It was it was like a twenty man fucking crew. So it was, you know Mm. what I mean. And it honestly, I put it this: I would not want to actually be in a a World War One tank like ever. Any any of those tanks? Fuck that, dude. No way. Suck absolute dick. Like, don't get me wrong. It would be nice not being shot at, but like sucking on exhaust fumes and like the heat and mm-hmm. everything else oh yeah and like it's just the, the fact there's a driver and that's he had a driver and then steers in the back <laughs> to control the fucking gearbox yeah oh, fuck that they, and you see that where they don't even have like a fucking steering wheel where it's like lever no they don't it's, it's just pedals yeah <laughs> yeah and it's like okay did you need to disengage one side but i suppose that was the way they did tractors back then so it was and mm-hmm. like it, it did was. it did give them a lot more maneuverability honestly mark for really cool tank i really love it where do you want to go do you want to go on to what we're f- what well we're to? thing is my favorite war war tank was called the skeleton tank <laughs> God, it, was so fuck, it was so fucking weird are you talking about that huge one you know that thing <laughs> what the fuck is this <laughs> look at it what does it it's do it's like it's like it was hollowed up for th- it's like, it's like it was hollowed up for like 3d printing <laughs> was was it was one of those like dummy was it one of those like fake tanks that they used no like world war ii it it was a it was a tank with a with a box and a gunner turret, and it was designed to like have reduced weight. <laughs> I mean, I get, I get, I get, okay, I get, I get well, the idea. Yeah, it's, it's like hat, bony boy, off you go. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I look at it, dude. It's like look look at you go. It's like a it's like a hollowed out land raider. <laughs> can, can it go faster? I take it. Like you know, what was the need for? Uh, Honestly, it was just like there's there's trying shit out. Like there's there's a little there's a link right there for, for, for the wiki if you want to click it. Yeah, left, sure. Left, 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 left. No, there we go. This is not... so no, this is a US tank. Yeah, no one one built. <laughs> Uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. See, that's one of the other problems but, I've got. Like, see, when it comes to like World War One media, like, uh, there's so many. Like, they they do they do shove like so many different tanks at you. But see, the amount of them that was actually produced was fuck all. Like, even the Mark like Four. Three. Yeah, like, like the Mark Four, the Renault, and the A7 were the big three made. Yeah, like you know, it's it's really weird when you look into it, and then you look into like World War Two, and it's like, yeah, we made like fifty billion of these things. It's like Jesus you know that fucking Czar tank. There's, there's a Russian tank called like. The Oh, with big ass fucking wheels on it. Yeah, it's like bizarre. like the the, 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 the the fucking carousel or not carousel? Uh, yes. carousel tank. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I get it. It makes sense. You're trying to get above everything. It's more like it's love to lean. You know what I mean? And again, I suppose goofy ass fucking Russians. But would the Russians really need that on the Eastern Front? Because the Eastern Front was a lot more it's just mobile. Flat as shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like you know. So I don't really. And again, like you know, how? Dude, why did you need this? Me need. Why me want? How big was it? Let me see. Is our tank? It was uh, huge. I think it was tall as shit. Like, like well, stop, stop, stop. Like, like look, like look at those trees. That's how tall that tank was. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's like, one. It was a huge tank, dude. Yeah. I don't know what you're gonna. You know what it kind of reminds me of again? Like, what do you call that one from Genosis? Oh, uh, sp- sp- uh, fucking. Do you know the no, one? No, 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 no. Well, I appreciate sure they're called they're called spider droids. Oh but... yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know the one. You know what I'm on about anyway. You know. Yeah. Uh, but like, but the thing, but the thing is, I th- I'm pretty sure they actually made this fucking thing. It just it just fell apart. Yeah. Hold on. Let's shit. let's see how many were produced. Number built one. No. Oh, design 1914. That's pretty early. That's what it is. That's actually... Like, congr- congrats for trying. I guess you get a gold star. Mate, how do you fit? Like, how do you fit? You ten, made it. How do you fit ten people in that crew? Ten. Very carefully. Mate, how many people? Like, what do you fit in that? Jesus Christ. Are there? <laughs> bunks in it like is there a fucking bathroom in that bitch like oh yeah we tank had the toilet <laughs> you know what's really sad see when you really look into it see like you know one thing i wish that we had like that's kind of been ruined is i would love if we had like airships like proper like think like like think like cruise mm. ships a modern but, airship yeah, yeah a modern airship but give me like the cruise experience like a cruise ship well, I mean, but in the air they are I mean, they are looking at it though. Like they are going back and looking at those early fucking. Uh, air, uh, they're trying to make the cruise ships of the sky now. And I saw this on a weird article I was reading when when that one day late at night. And they're trying to bring back like floating um, resorts in a way. I think that would be pretty cool. Again, uh, will they make it viable? Will it work out? Also, like, you know, because I was looking into them, like, you know, see, like, the ones that they did use, like, I mean, did you see the toilets on them things? Or, like, the the sleeping quarters? Or, like, honestly, I could just imagine the smoking on them things would be absolutely insane. You know what I mean? It's Mm. like, oh my god. The more you look at it, the more you're like, okay, it probably wasn't that much of a classy experience. 
Well, it's, it's due to weight, and yeah. you went on them because it, cause, cause I remember I, I read about this all the time because I, like, I was trying to research this kind of shit because I, you know, I can't sleep, so I might as well. Yeah. They they were they were deemed fancy because everyone could afford to go on an airship, and it was like this big flat. Like I'm, I'm on an airship, motherfucker. And they had like the best part was like um, the chefs up there had a really good budget for like food, so mm. it was basically a gourmand experience. You had a pretty shitty little rack you'd sleep in because you know weight yeah. was a big issue. I- but there, but the people who are gourmands would go on these big ass airships and fucking pig out on like french food and shit yeah it sounds pretty bulgar though I, I wanted to come back i wanted i wanted to make it a comeback i, I think it would be cool Either um way. Fun, fun fact for you history buffs out there um the chef and cook on the uh, on, on the hindenburg were able to escape because their the kitchen was, was farther back on the ship and they <laughs> jumped out of the fucking windows and in, 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 in like a little hatch did they have parachutes no, no. So, <laughs> what, people, what people don't know is, is these guys were jumping out on, on the tarmac, whack, as the, as the bitch was burning. Like, their families burning out the windows and shit as it was going down, but they're so low to the ground, they literally went thump and ran away. Don't I? Let me see how far. Oh, yeah, actually, look at that. That actually has yeah, too... so, so, around that, that really, it happens really I, quick. It happens really quick. It's always that photo that I see, cause, and it looks kind of high up. But well, here, 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 here. Go, go find the video real quick. How high... Okay, okay. No, no, no. Just find, find the video. All right, crack it. fine. All right, okay, here we go. Hindenburg disaster. Feed odds. You know, so turn the volume all the way down, though. All right. I'll claim you. I'll, yeah, that's true. And go and play it. And then, so this is still it's still pretty fast due to how these cameras work back in the day. Yeah, of course. But, well, but, okay. but, 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 but when this bitch hits, hits the ground, you'll see figures running out of the fuck. So, so it's going to be coming in here. All right, so it died in the video. And I, so and I, and and, oh, you're going fast forward then, because this is basically we'll cover footage until it's... Oh. So see where the... the, where the, where the, where the the, the views go up on your on, on your little timeline there. All right, okay. Oh. Yeah, so go. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So go slow it down a little bit now if you want to. Don't really have to. All right. So, okay. This is just so. being awkward. I fuck it. I'm just sitting by. So. It's burning, and it's burning fast because it's full of that fucking gas. Now, when the fucker hits tarmac right there, people start jumping out. And watch the bottom, you see them all running away. Oh. Those are people at, those people coming out of the passenger area. Oh, man. Like, those, those aren't like, those, those, are, those, are, those aren't grounds folks. Those are, those are passengers and crew fucking launching out of the, yeah, see right there? Oh, yeah. Those, 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 yeah, those Wait, are all fucking whoa. passengers. Oh, that's mod. I didn't know yeah. that. Like, those guys said, fuck, and they got <laughs> out of there when another bitch hit. And look right there. See the guy right there walking yeah. out? That's a, that's a fucking crewman right there. Well, that's mod. So the fire burned so intensely and quickly that if you were behind shielding somewhere, when it hit, you just jumped out and ran. But there were a lot of people who got cooked in that yeah. bitch, unfortunately. Yeah, because they shame. got trapped. Because they got trapped inside the, uh, the the promenade or some shit. Yeah. But but when that bitch hits, dude, you see people fucking booking it. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking gondola. That's mad. So I don't know that. Yeah. So so right so right there, is, I believe because yeah, you know, I, I think it's one of the one of the, one of the cooks or crew running mm. out. And then and then when it lands, boom, it settles and you see all these shapes start running out from the bottom. Right about here. Yeah. So so watch watch the bottom and all the yeah. shit. Yep, oh, yeah, there they, I see him. Ooh, so Fuck this crushed. shit, I'm out. Not today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's mild. So, so that's... yeah, so it happened so quickly, but the fire burned upward so fast. Like it, it, they were waiting for the hit, and when they hit, whack! They all fucking took out yeah. the fucking windows and shit. Oh, that's not bad. Well, here, at least, here, better than what I thought. I, I thought that would be like, a, yeah. That, that's, that's, I thought the Tinderberg definition of TPK. Not gonna lie, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I thought TPK. I'll, yeah, sorry, it's an IRL TPK event, you know? Yeah. That's a whole party wipe right there, shall we, boys? Yeah, not gonna <laughs> lie. Anyway, anyway, so what what do you want to do? Do you want to do World War II, World War Two tanks? World War Two tanks. Yeah, All this right. is where I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call the fucking wearaboo. I All fucking know it. Yeah, well, you know what? Let's go with German tanks. Okay, let's just go. No, no, through no, no, no. Do 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 all World War Two tanks. You choose your favorite. I'll choose my favorite. Oh, but the yeah, everyone knows the Germans. Are, I've got the best tanks in World War Two. Yeah, I know. They just do. <laughs> so they like, okay. So, well, it's not. Right, it's uh, not a wearaboo thing. They had this had better they designs. Just, they, they're they're, they're over complicated and they kept breaking down. But they're the best designs. They, they were just better okay so i actually heard one of a few years back so apparently the reason why americans used the shermans like small tanks is to do with how many you can get on a ship it was actually to do with just transporting oh, yeah, them yeah yeah so it was apparently that was uh, the <laughs> biggest bottleneck in it all here james right right here here's a, here's a little 
<laughs> meme for you. <laughs> it's a fucking king tiger. It's a little one. Yeah. Uh, it's a fucking king tiger. Uh, <laughs> no. Anyway, anyway. Honestly, like German tanks are just the best. And well, they just are. Like, don't get me wrong. Some of them were kind of meme tier. Like, what do you call that one yeah. with the big stupid, like the big stupid cannon? Or like even like the the the, the, the elephant was dumb. The, uh, the fucking mouse was dumb. They, they did have like, some stupid tanks, but again, look, there were if tanks were still new, they were still kind of experimenting. They I, like I, the, the the Panther alone could have done so much work if they just hadn't kept fucking it up. Like, well, we should build a mouse. We need Panther tanks and Stugs. No, nope, we want a mouse. Yeah, you fucking dickhead. Like, what the fuck? I mean, like, and then of course you can't go along with it. Like again, Tiger top tier. You know what I mean? Like, let's be serious. Well, thing is, the Tiger had an issue because it, it had a flat frontal plate. You had to angle yourself manually to make your armor effective now the king now that the king tiger or tiger 2 at least had a slanted front plate at least gave angle armor it at least improved on that like the panzer kampf wagon three and four and the king tiger had a flat fucking plate that is caught round. so and they went well if you angle yourself towards the enemy it'll take care of that well you have to actually angle your entire you know frame to your target and hope that your that your angle's hard enough you won't get penetrated yeah i don't like it's one of those ones they just they're just better you know what i mean like they, that, they, that that and that hold on that and they're pretty they, right? they are let's be fair here Ger german tanks are pretty I th I th do you think the only the tank the, well, the only the tank that's prettier and that's not german is like the fucking, fucking there's something about that fucking crusader tank i, I can't get around the, the 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 english crusader tank had a fucking vibe to it man. yeah um british crusade yeah that, that thing had a vibe to it that if what like it's i don't know it's it, it just seems cool to me it like, is it does have that like <laughs> it's a cool little guy <laughs> the problem that i've got is again british tanks uh, yeah, they were they were kind of trash, guys. I like you know. I, 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 you didn't uh, like the Cromwell guy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the Cromwell. Don't like the Churchill. Uh, pff, honestly, the, the most wild footage I've seen in tank combat are Churchills getting bullied by fucking <laughs> Panzer IV. I was like, I was like, oh god, like, it, it's it's rough. Uh, you know what? That's kind of one of the things that annoys me because I consider British tanks in World War One to be the best by such a big and then margin. They the ball in World War Two. They yeah. really did though. And again, you could argue the same thing with british world war ii what are they known for well, their biggest thing is intelligence like they the best spies the best all that type of stuff top tier you can't and it feels like ever since then like mm. british intelligence has just been a fucking g big huge james bond garp and that's been about it uh -huh. you know what i mean they just they uh, i don't even know like are, are the british who's that uh who, who's that little fake spy guy who's like a comedy thing john uh, johnny english yeah, Johnny English. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How they're viewed now. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a little shame. Now the, the the one really effective British tank was a Matilda and the Valentine. Those could stand up to combat, but they're so fucking slow. Yeah, <laughs> they couldn't go anywhere. I, you know, and then the Crusader tank was really really fast, but it lacked <laughs> any armor whatsoever. It was getting pinned by Panzer threes. Yeah, it's uh, like don't get me wrong. Like they were okay, but you, I don't think there's any. There's I don't think there's any British tank you would put in the top five for best tanks mm. of World War Two. Um, do you want to discuss Italian? Do, do, do you want to discuss Italian tanks or not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I've been, I've been, I've been pretty, I've been pretty harsh for British tanks, but okay, let's go for the yeah. Ita uh, the uh, the Italian tanks were. Like you see their tank line and you hear like the gladiator theme song da, 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 as it comes flying in, you know. Yeah. Like they they had a lot of tankettes, which were sad. They had a lot of armored cars, which just frankly sucked. And like their heavy tanks were considered light tanks by everyone else. Yeah. I mean <laughs> There was the uh, the uh, the uh, Sagatoro tank, which was a pretty okay ish oh, tank. Oh, you know what? Still okay. Sucked. Okay, you know what? Again, the only, I, I played the, the one of the best armies in World War II, I would say, the Japanese. I think the Japanese are, again, really undeleted. Oh, Jesus Christ. The Chinu, uh, you know the, that shit. They had, they had a really good, honestly, see, early war Japanese aircraft top tier. Like Mitsubishi Zero was really, really amazing. Now, again. When you're gunning down poor ass Koreans, yeah, they probably shine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that also, let's be serious, the Americans were sending all the good stuff to Europe at this time period. So, like, yeah. by the time, like, they could really get around to dealing with, like, Japan properly, like, they do have the really good Thank stuff. Thank God, then, there's P-40 Warhawks. We have something you can take yeah. zeros. Yeah, I like, honestly, like, the, the Japanese are just getting knocked way out of the sky at that point. You know, like, there's just such when a big the, turning uh, point. 
and the word when the Corsair and saying when the Corsair and Wildcat came out is when when the Japanese went oh shit what, 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 what was it the was it the Buck and Blanco or something about Buck and Blanco World War Two yeah it was something like that what was it called was that what it was oh yeah that's, that's not that's not, that, that's Vietnam era oh was that Vietnam oh, okay what was the one what was the um, early Pacific um, American planes. Let me see. What were they again? What were the fuck were they called? There's the the buffalo. That's what I'm thinking about. The buffalo. Oh, uh, the buffalo. Yeah, buffalo. Yeah. Shit. It's shit. They, they they got their like the Japanese dipped their nuts on the buffalo <laughs> yeah. pilot's face. Like yeah, nice like climb dead. rate retard. <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah. So, like, the Japanese had a thing where they would make a buffalo try and stime, try, try and stall climb after them, and this buffalo would stall out yeah. immediately. And it would simply just tilt that zero backwards and gun down that fucking buffalo. You know what? While we're on the topic of this, can I can I just go for the fucking um, what do you call it? The B B thirty eight super fortress. That's the B. Uh, what is it? The B thirty eight. What is it? The B. Uh, fuck. B. Um. Uh, that's the B twenty nine. B twenty nine. Think about. Yes. Honestly, yeah. I, again, what American aircraft top tier, like across the board. Like you know, I, I it is one thing that I will give the Americans so much credit for. You is, had that fucking Millennium Falcon thing going on with the fucking <laughs> cockpit, and it was fucking cool as shit. Yeah, it really was. Um, yeah, the B twenty nine. That's it. Yeah, we 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 we, we, we need to envision like nineteen forties, fifties style. That fucking cockpit nails it every fucking time. Like, yeah. try and find. So type in B twenty nine. Fortress cockpit uh, view. B it's, it's just it's fucking Kino. Cockpit view. There you go. Oh mate, just look <laughs> look at that dude. Oh, uh, it's so fucking Kino. Uh, 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 it's the goddamn Millennium Falcon. Look yeah. at that goddamn thing, man. Oh, uh, but you know you can you, you love that mate, shit. You can just see it going hyperdrive. You know what I mean? You can just you can you can see it. <laughs> Super plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God. Like, like to me, to to me, that was always like that '50s sci-fi vibe right in that fucking yeah. Cockpit. That's, like it was so good. It's perfect. It's what it is. It really is. Perfect. Yeah. For... I believe the B-29 had remote control gunners, too, on it as well. Oh, uh, mate. Honestly, I would not want to be one of them gunners. Uh... Oh, fuck no. <laughs> mate, have you seen... Dude, I I feel so bad for fucking ball gunners, uh, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mate, that is one of the jobs where I'm like, please, I do never... I never want to... Be. That's not... So look at that! What, look. So what, what really sucks is that the early ball guns didn't have the fucking escape hatch. They had to get out through the fucking top hatch. They had the... Um... They had the they had to rotate downwards to get out. Now the older ones had a release inside. <laughs> other ones had a release inside where you, where you basically took you, you you tilted your guns up till they touched the belly of the plane. And you pull that fucking hatch off and you fall out of it because otherwise you weren't getting out of that bitch. Yeah, <laughs> that uh, that is. And it, what did, what do they do with the shell case and so? Does it just like go on your back? Uh, no, no. So there, there are two, there are two. Uh, what do they call them? Dump holes. With oh, the, the right, shells okay. Fall out. Sweet ass, sweet ass. Because I, I was so, so, I so, so. A lot of the old videos, like, what well, was this weird static they kept seeing? The static was those shells falling out of the fucking ball gunners. Like, because he, had, so basically, you, you would see like a B, a uh, BF one hundred nine or or, or one ninety Wolf cam, and you come up on on a, on a B seventeen from below, and all this little like, little static line. Like, what, what was that static? Those are the shells from the ball gunners shooting at that airplane. Oh yeah, makes sense. I see that. Are you tired of overreaching and overbearing censorship on important and non-important issues? Well, you're in luck. For just seven fifty a month, you can get access to over sixty hours of completely uncensored and unhinged schizo takes from Megan and James from I mean, us. I mean, look, um, it's sixty hours at the minute. Every week we do a minimum of like three hours. Yep. So you know, you get a lot of content. There's a lot on there. A lot of content, ranging from, <laughs> or even. Yes, they are that spicy. Even the name of the topic must be censored. You can't even, we can't even promote it on YouTube. <laughs> you can stream or download all the videos from Gumroad and cancel your membership at any time. Though new videos every week on average come to two to three hours long so we can really go in depth on any topic 
and we are not strangled by the YouTube algorithm. That's a big issue I always find. Yeah. If we can wa- be open and uncensored and not have to worry about any of that. If you want to talk about a subject, YouTube really promotes, oh, you're going to have to get that done in 20 minutes. Mm-hmm. But on this, we can really take your time and really delve yep. into it. And most weeks we do bonus off-topic videos. And yes, we even have a teaser video you can download for free from nickbeardia.co.uk. In it, we talk about Northern Ireland for four and a half hours. <laughs> I don't even think we're scratched. Sorry. No, guys. it's to try and help you understand who we are as people, our worldview, and how we can kind of be aliens to most people. If any of that sounds good to you, go ahead, links down below, and let's get back to the video. Also, and um, the winner of the deal we giveaway is this guy. Yay! Woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> Look, anyway, uh, in for a chance to win, all you got to do is like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, automatically entered in. And to claim the prize, you just send an email to neckbeardycontact at gmail.com. Let's get back to the video. Actually, anyway, I, back I, to tanks. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, but I, I think, honestly, I know I know everyone loves fighters and stuff, and don't get me wrong. Flying tank, question mark? Okay. I, 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 I think that counts. I, th- I think that's a flan tank to me. I think the Super Fortress is a flan tank, and I just... I just love it. I just think it's really cool. I just think it's neat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, I think like, that's just... I, just... I just think they're neat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they really are, though. Like... Say the line, Marge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They, they fucking are, though. You know what I mean? Or, like, honestly... Now, it's funny how people go call me a weirdo, but, like, there are no bigger weirdos than the fucking Japanese dude. Oh, uh, like, mate. The Edel... Like, like the, the Edelweiss from Valkyria Chronicles is literally a fucking king tiger. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, that... Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Let's not try and get ourselves... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or again, that's one of the things. The Japanese, I feel like if they had actually, like, tr- they, it feels like they just never tried with tanks. You know what I mean? It was like, nah. If they really tried to apply themselves. No, but they just didn't bother with tanks. It was like, nah, we're, we're going to go with Navy. We're going to do aircraft. Well, we're gonna... they're island hopping. We yeah. don't, don't, you need, like, armored cars, not tanks. I su- I su- yeah, but even in Japan, or even when they're in China, they don't bother with tanks. You know what I mean? I suppose China. China. Honestly, that's one of they the... They have bad tanks. Horrible tanks. We don't need tanks to what, fight the Chinese. What? 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 I want to go. What the fuck was the idea with the Japanese? We'll throw the babies in the well. <laughs> what actually was going? What? What? What was the fucking Japanese issue in World War Two, man? Like there was no. I, I don't <laughs> what the fuck like, was our they, problem? They unlocked their villain arc really hard. <laughs> <in World laughs> like, what the fuck is your guys' issue, guy? Like, like straight up. Well, like in World War One, they were like the imperial dominant badasses. No war crimes. It was fine. World well, War Two, the fucking claws came out. I was like opportunistic, but like you know, it's like oh, you know, yeah, sure, we'll help you out here. Oh yeah, we'll take these German islands. Yeah, sure, that's no problem, guys. Okay, we did sort that out. World War Two comes along. Honestly, and the thing is, they could have just stayed in China. They could they could have swallowed up pretty much all of China and called it well, a day. It's more the fact that the Japanese had. If you ask me, the Japanese were worse than the Germans. So the Germans didn't line up Indian soldiers for target practice yeah. on a goddamn gun range. Uh, Japanese. Like for... uh, World War Two. What would you call it? Farthest uh, extent. Oh, would that uh, be boundary? Probably. Boundary. Yeah, that would probably be it. Like honestly, look at that. Look at how much they managed to take. Like, come on. Yeah. Like, and then go- like they were threatening Australia for God's yeah, sake. Yeah. Like, you, know, no- like, you guys, you guys weren't so fucking weird. You could have done it. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, like, you know, all, all, honestly, all they had to do was, all, they could have taken Korea, don't bother with Russia because they're going to fucking bitch slap you, like, just go with China, China can't do shit at this time period, you could easily gobble them up, and honestly, even to this day, um, like, China could be a subst- uh, subsidiary of, or a vassal state to Japan to this day, if they had just played the fucking cards right, but they instead they were like, no, we're going to take on absolutely fucking everyone. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, America, we're going to war with you for no fucking reason. <laughs> Get fucked. Like, what was the point? Like, what, what, they what? surely can't build all these ships up fast enough. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, like, they... <sighs> Whoa, Missouri upon you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And what, like, honestly, and again, the Japanese had some really top-tier fucking... Uh, like you know, like Yamamoto and all that. Like they had, uh, they had, they had, they had very, very nice boats. They too. did pretty, pretty, pretty solid boats. You, you know the problem was it was because they, 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 I think they got too cocky and they bitch slapped fucking Russia too hard, so they did. And I think they got a bit too- handle America no problem. Like that, that fucking rearing redneck. Mm, I, I, did you touch my cornbread? Yeah. I, I, look, 
Russia under the Tsar Don't is is, my boats. is is very <laughs> different from dealing with America. It's it just is. It just is. You know, uh, like anyway. See this giant redneck. Did you just touch my boat? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what you gonna do about it? Wait. 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 <laughs> you know, and and you know what gets me as well. What the fuck is it? We're like, what, what is it? We're like Japan and like the whole deal. Like honorable, and it's like. Nah, Pearl Harbor, motherfucker! What the fuck's out of my honorable? It's like that's not very honorable. Very honorable right? combat too. Surprised <laughs> you want to sell them, eh? Wait a minute. Yeah, that, that's not very. I honorable. mean, technically, technically, they, they did declare war before going on the attack, but Hawaii was so far outside the fucking <laughs> telegraph lines, they, it was they, they were delayed in getting the, getting the word. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, so it, technically, they did declare war first, and then immediately, <laughs> then they immediately attacked Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm calling so it a pro gamer move where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And again, I feel like I feel like this is one of the ones because you get so many stuff, and I feel like a lot of your perks always look overlook like the the Pacific Theater. But like, honestly, see if you like read stuff about Pelgrim and shit. Honestly, it's fucking insane. Like I mm-hmm. I I would I. I, I I just wouldn't want to be in the Pacific Theater at all. You know what I mean? I wouldn't want to be on the Eastern it's Front. It's a no for me, dog. Like, what, what <laughs> fronts are actually, like, bearable? Like, you know, where you think... Uh, uh, the French Front. The, just that area. They, this, that, this, that. The Western Front and, honestly, maybe North Africa campaign. It's a bit of a hit or miss, though, North Africa. It's, like, you know, pretty shit things happen there, too. Uh, sh- shit things happen. <laughs> Upside <laughs> combat, downside Africa. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Let's, it's hot. Yeah, look, guys. Sorry, so, back to tanks. Ask a question there, James. Your favorite World War II tank? <laughs> oh, I don't. I don't. I don't think I have one. Honestly, you don't. No, no not when it comes you to. Have to. <laughs> You have to have one. Um, I, I, one you always fall back on that that comfortable little sweet little tank. You're like, oh yes, this is what I need in this, <sighs> this day and age. Okay, you know the thing is, it's because I feel like I'm not as much of a fan of World War Two as I am World War One. World War One, I, I I I think I, I think about it too much. You fucking you know what great I mean? war boo. Yeah, I I really am. I'm sorry, guys. I really am. I I just. I do find World War II interesting, but I don't find the Western Front half as interesting. Like, I really like I like the Eastern Front for just how methy it is and how absolutely horrible it is. Like, I, I don't know is any... Is methy or yeah, messy? Yeah, it's just methy and mess. Like, honestly, there's some... Like, if you want war crimes, check out the Eastern Front, because that shit's fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it's just bad. You know what I mean? Or, like, lead some accounts of, like... Um, fucking like people in like St. Petersburg and shit like that or like honestly anything to do with Stalingrad absolutely insane you know it's 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 horrible and again I, I have been really getting in to the Pacific but again I feel like I'm more getting into the Pacific because I like, do you have a big thing for the Cold War and again like you know Hiroshima and Nagasaki that just it may as well be the Cold War because of the war I think like the second the war is over the second the atomic bombs dropped it's the Cold War you know what I mean to me anyway um oh uh, I like how hard you're fighting not like you're fighting so hard to not pick a tank you're like uh, no like, okay you know what it's but it, look it's just uh, pff, just give me a panzer sure just give me a panzer like honestly a, 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 a panzer yeah I'm sorry I know it's a, so basic I know it, it, it is a, it is a basic option and I know uh, it just is it's a basic option I, I i don't know what to tell you guys I, I, aircraft on the other hand i think there's quite a few i think i could go through honestly uh okay for americans already said it super uh the b29 super fortress or whatever what do you call it b20 b28 b29 uh, b29 super fortress top tier yeah, anyone who doesn't like a spitfire is fucking insane to me um it's hard to find i think uh, a machine or a weapon that is also so aesthetically pleasing and also so fucking good at the same time. Do you know what I mean? Like, Gorb, how many examples are there of like weapons that are just really fucking good but also just look so beautiful? You know what I mean? Very few, actually. You know what I mean? And I, and I think a Spitfire, yeah. a Spitfire really, really fits that mold. You know what I mean? Uh, again, Stuka dive bombers, top tier as well. I just, I just love the beams. Oh yes, yeah. Stukas. Yeah. I, I love the beams. Well, actually. So it's funny as how like the ME four ten in my opinion was actually a beautiful fucking aircraft. Uh, which one's that? Uh, let me get it up here. What do you call ME four ten? ME four ten. Oh yeah, they are really fucking yeah. Like they are just a there's a very classy classic aircraft look to them. Yeah. And they and they had massive cannons. Like they they had the fucking there were also night fighters with radar systems on them. They were a classy aircraft. Yeah. That were just I mean. 
I blame a lot of the problems with, with the German aircraft on the German fucking political parties. Well, like, yeah. yeah, this one is not part of the political party. Uh, no, I want to see more BF109s. Like, God damn it. Honestly, uh, that is, I think, the worst part. That, that's one of the things that like just annoys me whenever I read about World War II is just how fucking incompetent the Luftwaffe is. Bro, it, it, it's, it, it is. It's almost frustrating. Like, you motherfucker. You, <laughs> you look at the difference, like, you've got people like Lommel and Heinz Guderian play the best tank commanders of all time and why are German tanks known so well it's not just that they had the best tanks they also knew how to use them so fucking well you know what I mean like, and they have three fucking morons who are like Hitler's friends like yeah uh, I want this one why it's pretty uh, yeah, I, I, yeah no he needs the biggest tank possible but we're running out of tanks I do not care it's the biggest tank we'll yeah. scare the allies uh, 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 you know it's one of those I hate you <laughs> it, it, it's, just, it, it, it's annoying to lead almost because you look and again this problem i've got i've spoken about this before you look at for instance the german leadership of world war one and it is just insane you know well, what i mean well it's mostly prussians yeah well, but you've just got so many of the some of the best commanders of all time all together working not no well, not working together i can already hear the people shouting at me in the comments yeah. like oh, working um, together. Actually, <laughs> well working together uh, well they're on the same side kind of most of the yeah. time you know what i mean and then like you're trying to compare that to like like the absolute bare of minds of America. Like, adapt, improvise, overcome, beat the Germans, and they were fucking ripping through well, I get, stuff. Like, here, again. The Sherman, like, okay, the, like, Sherman, okay, make it jumbo. And, like, like <laughs> oh, shit. And it's not this huge fucking jumbo Sherman rolling, like, <laughs> yeah. nice penetrators, nerds. And again, like, well, here, look at that. Germ uh, American leadership in World War II, top tier as well, I do think. Um, I think the best by a big margin is probably Patton. I know a lot of people fucking wank over what's-his-face. Um, oh, uh, fuck. Uh, Pacific. Um, we're in, oh, um, in, in, the, uh, Douglas. Doug, Douglas. Yeah, Douglas. You know, the thing is, he was actually one of the there's first, Douglas, like, we there's, there's Douglas and There was Douglas and MacArthur as well, the big old corn cop. Yeah, MacArthur's top. MacArthur is the one that everyone, he's he's like the, <laughs> everyone always, I, I love the jokes about him. It's like, the only people that like MacArthur is fucking, like, divorced dads. <laughs> <laughs> why is, why is, why is, he's, if your dad's divorced his favorite generals MacArthur you know and you know the thing is MacArthur again he pulled some fucking nasty shit so he did like you know he, he broke up some fucking VA shit as well so he did he fucked over a lot of veterans but that's always blushed under the log so it is pretty fucking sharp uh, again but he's such a character he just he, he sticks out uh, when it comes to like British leadership honestly um, you've got Montgomery you know what I mean it could have been better <laughs> well you've got Montgomery and like you know Operation I, Market Garden will not <laughs> fail <laughs> like, you know what he, he, you can't say like he, 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 was, he was again I will say he was a top tier general and I think it's hard he, he, look he was he was more like a <laughs> He was more of an accountant. Are you running defense for me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, I like, I like uh, Montgomery. I think he's good. You but, fucking apologies. <laughs> no, but my, f but I will say my favorite ever, like officer has to be, and again, only because he's like local to me, would be Blair Main. You know, um, I'm gonna cut the site actually, so well. So there you go, uh, founder of the SAS. So that's the thing, but I'm gonna have to cut that out, of course, so well. But anyway, no, honestly, Blair Main, top tier. He's probably my favorite, like, officer of sorts. Who, who would you go for World War II if you could pick, like, an officer? Like, you know, is there any, uh, like. I don't think I really can. I mean, officers did their job. I mean, the. Oh, ah, hold on, I know there is one. Hold on. Um, give me a second here. There's only one guy I think is the most base of them all, and that, and, and that was the. Because he, he 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 was he was, a, he was a duke or a prince. Hold on, let's see. What, like I gotta find the their wiki because I because I always say his name wrong. I know people hate that shit when I do that. Yeah. Um. Oh, what do you call your mom? It, Fuck. There's a there's a really good it's short fella. Really, he's he, he was American. He was really fucking small. Uh. Uh, Eddie Murphy? No, fuck, no, man. <laughs> not Eddie oh, Murphy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not, not, not Eddie Murphy. Sorry, it's Murphy. It's, uh, uh, was it? Yeah, it was Murphy. It was. What do you? What do you call? Him? Mm. Well, was was it? Was it not? Uh, is it not Eddie? Mur Hold on, is it not Eddie Murphy? Fuck. Am I having a brain fart here? Yeah, it was um, Leon Murphy. Leon Murphy. This fella. Hold on, let me get the one. Because 
because there's basically an, an award they give out. Yeah, yeah. Let me get him up here. So it, it was Vaughn. I gotta find the name. He's pretty. So, uh, so uh, sorry, Audie Murphy, not Eddie. Audie yeah, Murphy. Uh, oh, okay, uh, Audie. <laughs> Audie. Audie. I can already hear the shaking in the comments, so I can't. <laughs> oh, that's what. It is. So, so the only guy I ever liked was Klaus von Stauffenberg because he was because he hit up that fucking assassination plot on Hitler. Oh yeah, he's pretty cool. So he is. Yeah. Uh, Klaus was because well, he's pretty because he grew up during the the Weimar Republic and he was was in the military since like the, the like 1926 so he's actually he's part of like a fucking royal family or some shit yeah he was but uh but but, but pretty pretty cool dude and all that because he's like man i hate because basically he 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 was so patriarchal he's like i hate versus going and i gotta change like klaus one of the change things in germany and trying to get a ceasefire going k kill hitler yeah kill Goebbels, get a ceasefire going you know, so, you know, he, at least he tried. Yeah, he did. And honestly, well, the thing was, like, you know, did the Allies not just, like, decide, like, we're not going to kill Hitler because, like, he's actually doing us such a big favor here by just being a fucking retard. The thing is, Hitler, well, yeah. Hitler was actually so, genuinely really good for the first, like, two years of the war. Like, he, a big gambler, but his gambles paid off. You know what I mean? Like, and that's the thing. He took risks. I thought he was a fucking idiot. Uh, he took, <laughs> personally. Uh, look, you can't, like, the guy, like, he did, whether we like it or not, he did conquer pretty much all of Europe so fucking quickly. It's insane. You know what I mean? And you can only chalk so much of that up to luck. Now, you can also say the people underneath him were fucking insane, like just top tier. And again, the longer the war went on, the more he micromanaged and fucked shit up. But again, like, you know, the guy was a gambler, and I think a lot of his gambles did pay off, you know? So there's that. But again, look, he's not, like, he, he can't hold Hitler up as, like, a, as a good general he's just because he's just not you know what i mean he's just he's just not <laughs> what other yeah because he, he sucks <laughs> yeah. like, I, I, again like you know another good example i think of i do i am a big fan of curtis Gamay. can you not guess that i actually am a big fan of american air power in what we're today uh Shocking. yeah kurt to the May. Uh, apparently, he is the guy that is credited with saying we will bomb them back to the Stone Age. Apparently, but he swears that he never said that. Um, he, again, he's he's one of oh Curtis, yeah, yeah. He, he <laughs> Curtis, I will I will reduce those cities to ash and rubble. Curtis, <laughs> yeah, uh, honestly, the guy's fucking brutal but effective. And again, you know, Curtis, fuck your cities, Lemay. <laughs> yeah, you know the thing is as well with Curtis Lemay. Again, he's he kind of honestly. I know I know the Americans are gonna lee at me, but he's kind of got that accountant mentality. The same way like yeah. Montgomery has. It, it's just it's just numbers, it, and I know how to put those numbers to use. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like he's a he he he. he, 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 he I don't know. He's not like a commander of men per se. He's more of like a commander of numbers, and I don't know how else mm. to put that. You know what I mean? I, he, again, he's kind of like what statistics. Do you, statistics. Yeah, he, he he's kind of like what do you call the John Pash, the American commander of World War One. Where honestly, mm. I, I, John Pash was he an effective leader? Yes. Was he also play one of the most uncaring generals? And that's saying a lot for World War One. Yeah, um, that's one of the things that really annoyed me actually about All Quiet in the Western Front um, with the like the modern remake because they try and go on to like you know about this mad they try and blame it on what's his face Ludendorff for like sending out Luda Man on the last day where in fact the person that was doing that was the Americans were doing that you know what I mean uh, but again they didn't know that the ceasefire the way Pash presents it it's like look they're talking about a ceasefire we don't know if the ceasefire is actually going to happen we've got a really good advantage here but yeah like 2,000 men died that day for no reason you know what I mean but again it's easy for I like how you dragged it back to World War 1 but it, no, but, it's, <laughs> no, but it's easy for us to say that now because we know that you are, weren't there well, man well we know that the armistice <laughs> happens um, yeah and again that's the problem with, uh, with Pash anyway anyway where do you want to go Garp are we going to go into uh, Cold well, War I'm going to choose my favorite war you, you keep forgetting me motherfucker it's my favorite <laughs> War 2 tank what the fuck is that thing? Is that the <laughs> the, the Stug four? Let's yeah. go. That is a nice. Time. So so the, the the Stug had the highest KDR of all the fucking German tanks, dude. The thing was a fucking knocking out everything. T thirty fours, Shermans, they give a fuck. 
Uh, but again, was it just pretty much like a mobile or mobile like heavy weapon platform? Well, right? it was te- it was technically it was technically an assault gun, but still a tank. Like yeah. you don't go, oh, it's not a tank. Hey, fuck off! It's a tank. It's got treads. It's got tracks. It fires a goddamn gun. It's a goddamn tank. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. It's actually an assault gun. So <laughs> suck my dick. Uh, it's still a tank. Yeah. Uh, actually, they were just hiding the bushes. You know. You know what? Actually, I, I actually really, I know a lot of people are going to shout at me. I really enjoy the movie Fury. I thought it was a great World War II movie. <laughs> and people are going to shout at me over that, but I actually really... Now, don't get me wrong, the last... The the the, the, the fight scene at the end is fucking ridiculous. The... the, the well, then, the, the tiger fight scene was kind of, I don't know, fucking dumb. Because yeah, the tiger well, was just held still or backed up and yeah, shot him in the fucking face. I, I don't know why I did that at all. But, like, look... Like, and then... Well, the thing is, that, that in, the in fight scene, well, Audie Murphy did that. He actually didn't do that. He he was held up in a very defensive position, not in a crossroads, and he had a fifty cal, and it was just him. He wasn't shooting SS fucking Panzerfaust wielding yeah. grenadiers. Like uh, it was very, it, it was it was really Hollywooded up. For yeah, sure. like my 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 head cannon for Fury is like they're not going up against like top tier SS soldiers. Like they're just not. It's like it, like fucking like Volkstar yeah. Hunger wearing cool uniforms. Yeah, <laughs> like that that or like they're literally like. Again, it's supposed to be at the very end. I'm assuming that well, they're just like that, kids. You know what I mean? Well, then it's like it's, it's showing that sniper crawling. Like that guy was there the entire and they didn't fire a single shot the entire time. You, you, you could have killed so many crew members. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was, like it was a fun movie. I like was it fun to watch? Yeah. What did it get me on the edge of my seat? Yeah. Uh, what more can I say about a war movie? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like let's be serious. You know what? Actually, one, <laughs> you're gonna fucking hate me, but I'm gonna put it out. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say it because I never gonna say it. <clears throat> I consider I consider All Quiet in the Western Front all of the versions by the way all of them I like all the versions I'm just putting them out there I do think they are the only true genuine anti-war movies ever made because all mm, war, anti-war movies anti-war mean. movies because you can say like you can say loads of like war movies well, are anti-war but they but they are but they're not at the same time you know what I mean well you say that but Saving Private Ryan did a pretty good job of that it did but it's still it, the problem is it was still very heroic do you know what i mean and well was it really though it was, it was more of a these guys are tied to a single man's choice a choice that, that none of them wanted to do and there was conflict the entire way about this guy's choice i think the you pro- know i think the biggest problem is a lot of people consider world war ii to be a very noble war does that make sense whereas world war one was just a tragedy do you know what i mean like you know what I mean? Like that, that's that's the only way to put it. It was just a genuine like the that, Serbians <laughs> did this. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but it was just a genuine tragedy of human life, and there was like there was really no need for it. Whereas World War Two, you could argue that oh, these evil ideologies and all that sort of stuff. So like, it still has like a, a the the knight defeating the dragon mentality to a certain extent. Well, you know, the same things that started that war in World War Two are apparently being just you know the blinders on nowadays. They're, they're, they're trying to put people in camps. That sucks. Yeah, well, better, better ignore that. <laughs> I mean, like, here, you don't want your the ch- Chinese put religious minorities in camps. Man, that sucks. I got a new iPhone though. So. <laughs> yeah, I know it's like it's one of those like, ones. It's such a fucking like. You know, the problem is well, the other problem is is like, how do you buy anything that's not made in China or like Southeast Asia at this point? You know what I mean? Like, is it is it possible to do that? Could you? Is it possible to just buy shit off Etsy? Do you know what I mean? And farmers markets, mm-hmm. like you know, let's be serious. It's probably not. Like, do you want a car? Mm, you got some of them processors. Mm, you using this computer? Uh, check out Taiwan. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's probably where mm-hmm. all your parts are coming from. And again, like you know, working conditions. Probably Taiwan, not. Puff, China, China, <laughs> Taiwan. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I, I love the meme of greater. I know greater fucking Taiwan G- and greater Taiwan. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys like tabletop RPGs? Do you like waifus and husband foos in a colorful fantasy world? Do you fucking hate the ATF? Well, partner, do I have a tabletop RPG for you? Based off of a book series that holds back zero punches, the Vill Rider TTRPG is a game system based around the use of both blood magic, spells, swords and spears, as well as a healthy dose of machine gun fire and grenades. 
All activities in the game are based around an action point system, a set of points that you will use and spend and regain to do things in the world, allowing you a huge breadth of actions both in and out of combat. The basic field manual boasts 17 playable races, both foreign and familiar, including gnolls, elves, harpies, and spiderfolk. There are additionally 19 jobs with unlockable skill trees, ranging from a newly turned local men-at-arms to gunslingers who have luck on their side and might just be your huckleberry. Ah, did we mention the war crimes? There are war crimes. There's a war crime chart. There's a war crime score. Yeah. Don't overuse the gas weapons and human shields or else local law may be a bit pissed. While the basic player manual or field manual is enough to play a game, there is also the combat controller manual that expands on nearly everything in the field manual, including nearly a hundred new spells and potions, weapons, beckoners, drugs, and all a manner of tools to use in the creation of the game. I also paid extra for hand-drawn art, so yeah, there's that too. If you want to be a dwarven machine gunner mowing down southern elves while blasting pumped up kicks in your ears via cassette player, then the Veil Rider TTRPG is the game you have been waiting for. Ah, shit, the Yamatu found the Willy P grenades. Hey! Hey! Put that down! <laughs> anyway, anyway, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? What's up um, next? So, next urge of tanks would be Cold War era tanks, which is where, uh, like, where tanks really start to shine, I think. Uh, I, I, I do think, like, you know, honestly, it was it about the 80s. The 80s was, like, they just Bro, had... It was... The, it, was, it was a time of like the Sheridan, the M60, yeah. the, 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 the early the early Leopards, the early T70 series. Yeah. Like it, this is when this is when people also realize, okay, I know our tank style. Let's do our tank style. Because yeah. the thing is, you know, because unfortunately the T70s were, I don't know, um, fucking stupid, <laughs> and it more or less poisoned Russia's. Tank well, the tank is smaller because of a three crew, but it's a rocket system. Like you're gonna go propel to space when it fails. Yeah, but it didn't matter. Uh, then, then you had like 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 the uh, the invention of the, the I do air quotes here modern uh, tank destroyer in Sweden. You had the M24 Chaffees during during the cold during the Korean War. I do like the Chaffees. Right, the Chaffees are nice. Then, and then the Centurions started being made, which led into um, what, what was that modern um, British tank you guys have over there? Um, oh, the fuck! That's well, forgotten whenever we do it. This type of shit. Oh, <laughs> I know. Uh, on the spot, on the spot, uh, on the spot. Uh, 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 oh, uh, 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 hold on. Uh, British battle tank. They're not called Centurions anymore. No, it's Challenger. It's Challenger. Challenger. Thank yeah. you, Challengers. Yeah. So here is when all, all the countries are really going into their own niche of tanks. The Germans had the Leopard. The British had the Challenger. We started making or the Abrams series. Uh, off the M60 series, mm. you know, it was because like, the Walker Bulldog was a very short stint in terms of tanks in the U.S. Yeah. So in the so in the Cold War era, the 70s, 80s, you know, sorry, 60s, 70s, 80s, is when tanks are really becoming um, niched into certain countries, and they all kind of kept that style. I think, again, I think they've kept that style because they haven't really used them. Do you know what I mean? Or if they have used them, they're going up. A, they're going up against people that don't. The Americans have them. used them pretty good. And for the, the, the storm, it's all well, the same. Yeah, really. yeah. You know what? You know what got me really thinking is mm. is shock and awe the the politically correct term for Blitzkrieg. Technically, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, you can think about it. It's, a, it's, a, it, it's, it's the same thing, just with like a more PC name attached to it. Mm. You know, the, the idea, the concept, still the same. You know, just smash them as hard as you can, as quick as you can. But it works so, for a long time. What, what do you think is your particularly favorite Cold War era tank? Uh, honestly, what do you call it? An American one in the 80s. That was fucking beautiful, so it was. It, well, the M60. Yeah, let me get up that one, hold on. Uh, M6. Yeah, the, and, and, and it was funny that I have the exact same, the exact same answer. The M60 tank yeah. was the pinnacle, in my, in my opinion, the pinnacle of fucking tank design. Yeah, they're just fucking cool, man. I don't know what else to put on it. Like, they, they just are. Like, just look at that absolute fucking bruiser of a goddamn tank. Man. Yeah, it's just cool. You know what I mean? It just is. Yeah. And, and again, that is one thing that I am really, I think we've seen that a lot where, like, you clean and stuff like what are we going to do with tanks now again let's be serious the problem is with desert storm you're going up against people that don't really have great anti-tank weapons you know what i mean and i was going to say bad 
soldiers. Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> they well, suck. Well, bad fucking everything. <laughs> Let's be serious. Yeah. I, you know what? Can we? Can I talk about that for a bit? Like this is something that I always mm. find is a big difference between the East and West, uh, especially in the Middle East. The Middle East has always made amazing skirmishing armies. Think of it, even like light horse cavalry sort of thing. Like you know, even javelin throwers, all that sort of stuff. They've always been really good at that, and even to this day, they fucking spear chuckers. But they are good at it though. Like they always have been. But and then you look at European and Europeans have always had top tier heavy infantry you know heavy cavalry heavy infantry yeah shock they, troops they just always have like you know you, you, even if you look at something like and again people are going to argue and it's like well james like you know it's like greeks greeks are western i don't care they just are okay like you know i know there's going to be one or two guys in the comments like no greeks are not european man it's <laughs> some fucking English uh, yeah the yeah, the, yeah there will be there'll be one angry turk <laughs> so there will be oh fuck i miss anatolia so much i fucking hate turk <laughs> <laughs> I, miss, I was like, you wouldn't believe. Uh, anyway, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, you know, it always. It has. appears your seven Turkish fans are mass reporting on your YouTube channel. That's pretty odd. Oh, no, you know, there was a lot of them angry with me because I said the Ottomans were trash in World War One. It's like, yeah, well, what about what about Gallipoli? It's like, yeah, but you got by a German and the British leadership. And what that, about Gallipoli? <laughs> yeah, mm, he, he was alright, but like, I don't know. You guys sent like a lot of people up to die in a fucking mountain. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. There was a lot of a lot of stupid moves in World War One, but like I don't know, the Ottomans did do a lot of these. Like the, the the only empire that got really fucking decimated, like one hundred percent, completely and utterly torn apart. You know what I mean? Like the Ottomans mm. just ceased to exist. At least the German people mean to exist. The I don't know. Like, let's keep going. Let's the keep... eternal German. <laughs> well, the, the, the so so we both agree that the M60 was a pinnacle tank design in the eighties. Though it's kind of funny. I think it's a great tank. Honestly, it's one of the ones that yeah. I think you know what it's because it's used in so many movies it's just really popular you know what i mean it's one that like like well no just his track record though is like it, it did really well even in, in moving on to desert storm it got an upgrade package it was still slaying 270s yeah it's just like, like, like it's funny it killed russian tanks in fucking vietnam and it killed russian tanks in desert storm <laughs> yeah it's mad when you think about that you know but like i can't but and, and, and well because well, remember because the marines couldn't get Abram tanks. The Marines had a ton of M60s. So they said, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah, right there. Put the armor on the goddamn M60 and call it a day. <laughs> so they literally took those armor panels and put them clink onto their M60s. And these things are fighting. It's weird to think these things are fighting alongside Abrams tanks what? in Desert Storm. What is it? Where, like, anytime I read about Marines, they always seem to be fucking underfunded. And I, to, <laughs> to me, the idea of like anyone in any. The idea of like American Army being like. Or I know you guys are going to American Army. Like, I know, I know, I get it. I'm just using it as a catch-all term, okay, guys? Fuck. American uh, Army. No, you, you get what I mean, but what is it with like, Marines just seem to be always underfunded? Is it more, is it? Is that just a meme or what? Because, like, it just... Well, it's literally, it's literally that and, like, you were going, the U.S. Army cannot have airplanes, only Air Force and Navy. I'm like, what the fuck? So, basically, like, the entire Army, uh, the Army Air Corps is just rotor wings. And, like, you're not allowed to have planes, no fixed wings for you. Fuck you. It's like, well, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of weird bureaucracy shit going on oh, in the US military. I, I, honestly, I, that's one thing. I, you, know, you know what? I, I remember there was one time that I I I I sent I sent the Americans into fucking spinning the leaves whenever I called. Um, <laughs> again, like that's just what I'm gonna call them. Okay, I know the difference. But it was again, I was talking about the Pacific, and I called them Army Man, and they're like. Rrr! It's like, okay, I'm sorry. We're not army men. I'm, go like, I'm sorry. I'm going to call. Like, I don't care if you're fucking in there. Like, you're army men. Army men are army men. Okay. It's universal. I don't care. Okay. They're army men go boom, boom with rifle. That's army yeah. man. Do you, are, you, are you a man with a rifle? There you go. You're an army man. That's it. That's, that is that. That is my cla my classification. I know the difference. Okay. Don't shout at me. It's just what I'm like. Okay. Please be patient. <laughs> I have autism. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, honestly, like M60s cult tag. Uh, there's no other way to put it. What, well, that and like, what well, kind of struck me weird is how, like, when they got those little upgrade panels, it looked like a sci fi tank. It really did. Like, yeah. those, little, like those little panels on it. It looked like a goddamn sci fi tank. What was that gun that they were going to take on in the late 90s? And it looked like something from fucking Starship Clippers, but the American army never went for it in the end. Oh, oh, fuck me. It was based on that Starship thing. Design. Yeah, well, um, what do you call that again? Shit. Um, well, it, it, was, it, was it was based on a whole project of tanks they were going to do. Weird auto thing. Rejected by yes army. 
that cannot work. No, it's not. Yeah, okay. uh, it's not gonna so, come up. So, so, so it, 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 it was. It was. Hold on, I'll find. It. I don't. I'm, is that it? That's. Is that the one? Isn't that the one? Oh, you mean, oh, oh, you mean like a rifle? Or, yeah, it was or an actual. No, it was an actual rifle. Oh, was, that's a, so. That's a G thirty six. Yeah. Is that the one that was rejected? And uh, but there's. It, oh no 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 no! You mean that giant grenade launcher fucking thing? <sighs> there was, don't you? There was a gun. Hold, that, hold, it, hold, it, hold on, hold on. Um, U.S. Army Project um, Grenade Launching. It's a giant fucking. Slap, slap a fish. Yeah, it was like on, I'll, I'll find it. It was like rejected, and they were they unironically asked, like, "Can we get something that looks kind of like Starship to Capri?" You know what I mean? So, so yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't check it up. It's a, it basically is a thing where they can control where a grenade exploded via all these, all these. It was like a, I was like a smart gun. Oh, right. Uh, hold on, I, 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 I don't know how to find it. I did it before. I always wonder if I thought, like, you know, this uh, is one of the things that always kind of spooks uh, me. Smart. It's like what, what do they have that we don't know about? Like, like, because the biggest one that I always point to, like, whenever people are like, oh, James, you're being weird. It's like, well, look, look at the, whatever they killed Osama Bin Laden. You know what I mean? I had stealth helicopter. Oshama. Like, you know, look at that stealth helicopter that they had, you know? And that that, that had been developed in, what, like, 90. There was this thing. And there's another one I'm trying to find as well. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I don't know. It's still fucking cool, man. Because basically, it was basically a smart grenade launcher that would launch little, like, 20 millimeter grenades through the air. And it was, you could time it to where it explode through a window mm. and all kinds of fun shit. It's Army Smart Rifles. And his other one they had was a giant slab of fucking plastic that looks ugly as sin. Uh, I'm trying to find it. All right, you know what? So we're coming up on, we're, we're past the R mark. And I know we've been rambling, but what what weapons technology so do you want to see in the future? Uh, for me, I want to see the return of knights in armor. Do you know what I mean? Like I want power armor. <laughs> That's just the ad mech. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's on ironically. I want that. robotic horses and goddamn power lances, and I will not stop till I have them. Yeah, well, you know what? Whenever I was a kid, I wanted a jetpack. Oh, you want Dune, don't you? Kind of, maybe. No, no, no. I don't. Uh, what I what I really want is actually like space marines. On ironically, um, that's pretty much what space I want. Space marines. I, you know what? Can, look, are you telling me you don't want an army of like? Iron Man, essentially, you know what I mean? Do, do you not want Iron an, Man? An army of iron of, of, of iron army men? <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Honestly, look, all I'm saying, that's what I want. What, what, what would your go-to be, Garbo? Do you want, like, Titans? Is that what you want in the future? Do you want the idea of, like, walking tanks? Do you want Gundam? You Do you want Gundam? I want I, I want Star Wars Juggernauts, dude. That's what I fucking want. Let's type that in. Star Wars. Type in Clone Wars Juggernauts. Oh, yeah, they'll, they'll do that. Ah, uh, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Oh, yep, yeah. Them things. Yeah, them things are cool. That's what Garbro wants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? That is what I think Ozzy would want as well, because he's fucking obsessed with anything but big wheels at the minute. He's like, monster talk? <laughs> I'm gonna think, monster talk? <laughs> like, like, see if I ever be in a play Mario Kart? I asked him, like, no, Ozzy, not monster talk. Monster talk? <laughs> the thing is, like, Ozzy speaks in, like, this weird German accent at the minute, and I can't really describe it to you. Because he's like, as he wants, he would go to me. He's like, if he wants something, he goes like, as he wants. As he God wants. damn, Germans infected my son. <laughs> me, I'm not even uh, German. Hello, my father. I would like to see Iron Brew, please. <laughs> it's the way, it, 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 it's really funny the way he talks to them, but it, it actually does sound like German, like straight up. I, I don't know if it's like the way he's putting together words or not, but like it really sounds German to me, or like a weird like when, German French accent. When the German side finally works with some, some Irishman's kid. <laughs> no! The Manchurian candidate. Uh, and Anyway, um, Mine, yeah, it's finally booked. <laughs> we have taken over the Irish. <laughs> no. Right, okay, that's pretty cool, though. But honestly, you know the thing is, I don't see that being, like, overly that far away. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Remember the bulldozers from... Um, the kill dozer. No, well, yeah, that too. Here, did you see the dildo dozer? I don't want to see it. Do you not want to see, see it? Do you not want? I don't, don't want to see it. I know. No, no, I don't want. I don't see a giant dildo dozer. The, the dildozer, if you will. No, I don't fine. See it. You know what? No, but you know what? Oh, <laughs> the, the dildozer. Have you don't see that? All right, okay. Anyone watching? Google the dildozer, and you'll find out. It's not dildozer. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm putting it on. Fuck it. I don't care. This man feared only one thing. The dildozer. Uh, uh. This here. <laughs> That's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it's a good. fucking concrete pillar mover. And you call it the dildozer? It has a job. <laughs> yeah, it's a dildos, mom. 
<laughs> All right, okay, fine. Where do you want to finish up on? Because we're getting... Behold, dildo. So, honestly, <laughs> I, I still think my favorite tank of all time, I think it's the Mark IV. The reason being, I, I believe it's a key part of winning World War I. Um, I think with it, um, it, 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 it would have been a lot... It, look, the British would have won eventually, but at what cost? And I think um, it's just a top-tier tank. And also, I think it shows a lot of ingenuity and the ability to try new ideas and the willingness to try new ideas you know and i think again it's very churchillian things again he was like oh look let's go for Gallipoli. Gallipoli it's didn't... a very churchillian well thing. it was look, churchill wanted to like okay the western front's not working we're, we're banging our heads against the wall what are we gonna do we're gonna have to try and open another front somewhere it didn't really work out too well for them but again I'm, i blame them mostly for that and again what did churchill do after that okay let's get this going let's go for tanks and lo and behold Old, there are still uh, stand par in fucking every army. Any uh, any army that's worth anything has a lot of tanks. You know what I mean? Like it's, mm. it's just it's just it's the case. Um, so for me, it's a Mark IV all round. I just I just think it's neat. And also, again, I just think it's neat. I just think it's neat. And again, it's kind of one of the ones that I love about uh, 40k very much. Bar like the Lino, which is pretty much a uh, pretty much a fucking uh, Bradley M one 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 three. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what it is. But like, like you know, Land Reader, all that sort of stuff. It's a Mark Four. You know what I mean? It's that's what it is to me anyway. It's just a fucking Mark Four. Yeah, it's a Mark Four. <laughs> We're like slightly different. It, it, when it, British guys make your fucking two tier RPG, it's a fucking Mark Four. <laughs> They're all Mark Fours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where would your favorite tank then be of all time? If you had to pick I one. Guess the thing, thing is, I had to pick one. It's got to be the M60, dude. Because it's just such a nice tank. And it, it had a good shelf life. And it, it had an amazing shelf life. Yeah. I can't think of any other weapons platform. Like, I have no doubt if they took, like, upgraded M60s with, like, those fucking armor packs and Ukraine, it would still fucking slay T-80s. Like, <laughs> no fucking, no shot, dude. Again, you know what it kind of reminds me of? Uh, it kind of, again, go back to it. The Bren gun. Giga shelf life mm -hmm. on that thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but like you got, you got to have side. They have like canted sides so you can see where your fucker shooting. I know, but it, it it worked, and they kept using it for a very long time. You know what it, I mean? It worked. Did it though? Uh, I don't know. I'm maybe 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 I'm biased, but I do love a good. Again, I'm bad. Again, it's one of those ones I do love. A fuck, one of the more. I love it. Look, I'm sorry. I like a Lewis gun. I know it's a piece of shit, but I'm sorry. I love it. And to me, I just think they're neat. I just think the gate neat. And again, a brand gun to me is just like the evolved version of the Lewis. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it really is the evolved version. And again, like, you know, like they're using brand guns right up until the fucking magazine the, the, fed machine guns, well, fucking critters externally. Yeah, they're, they're, like, they're still using them in fucking Falklands, for God's sake. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, that's some fucking Yeah, out of necessity because you're. you're because the budget's so fucking tight. Yeah, okay. I sp yeah, but yeah. Was the Falklands not an aesthetic war? Give Okay, you know what? What's your most... the Falklands not an aesthetic it, war? It was the most aesthetic <laughs> war ever. Give me a more aesthetically pleasing war than than the Falklands. Did you, did you guys beat in the shit out of the Argies? Yeah, yeah. really aesthetic there, James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, step back for a second and watch me kick the fuck out of some third welders. <laughs> <laughs> some South Americans. Yeah, yeah, well, that's like that. Yeah, that's, that's about let's come for the Americans. You used to get to everywhere else in the fucking world. You know, that's, that's At least you won yours. Fuck, yeah, man. Exactly. That's what makes it aesthetic. Uh, wait, wait, you know what? Fuck it. We're going home. I'm tired. You guys are like, no, we're going to finish. See this shit out. Yeah, okay. Where do you want to land? Where do you want to end up? What, what, favorite time? What, what about that? Then what about a favorite just weapons platform overall? War two. War two. Well, War two. And what would your pick be? Like, is it going to be a tank? Is it going to be an aircraft? Is it going to be? It'll a be. Ship? It'll, it'll, it'll be a. It'll, it'll be a, a tank destroyer. Knowing me, it'd be like a Yog Panther or a Yog Panzer. Yeah, I can fuck me now that I'm thinking about it, what about battleships though? What about Dreadnought? That's a that's a whole, uh, that's a whole other video, um, my yeah, dude. Yeah, whole other video. Yeah, I'm not gonna start that right now. Uh, okay, I think that's where we're gonna finish. We're, we're here for two more hours going. Like the graph speed was an excellent <laughs> design. Yeah, we'll be here for another two hours. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Look, I'm sorry. Um, 
honestly, okay, you know what? Toss up. What do you think's cooler, the Bismarck or the Yamamoto? Bismarck. Yeah, that's a pity. I'm not gonna. Yamamoto. Is like, so... like, not like. It's not saying oh, oh German boot. No, it's just it had, it had a better system, I think, than the Yamamoto did. The Yamamoto was way too big. Its AA guns couldn't hit shit. Uh, no. I mean, I mean, to be fair, the Bismarck was trying to add up. The Bismarck was so advanced it couldn't hit the fucking pipe lights. <laughs> I think it's yeah. fucking hilarious. Yeah. They're going too slow. <laughs> we, can't, we can't. We can't compensate. I know, the Yamamoto was. Just and so... most importantly, at least the Bismarck sunk some shit. Yeah, the okay. Yamamoto was a fucking disaster, so it was, but it was so cool. But it was, again, it's, you know, that's one of the things. The I, Bismarck got bullied by destroyers and planes <laughs> dropping yeah. barrels on top of it, for God's sake. Yeah, but it's fucking cool, man. You know what it makes me think of? Like, what, because I don't think we've seen enough action of, like, are hypersonic missiles a meme? Or not? Like, are they? Are they? Uh, are they going to be like the big thing, or is the idea of like aircraft carriers over? You know what I mean? Like, once you have hypersonic missiles and they actually genuinely work, or are they going to get knocked out by like lasers and shit? You know what I mean? I mean, thing is, remember, all combat items are a constant. I don't call it a race war, but it's literally a race yeah, war. Yeah, it is. Racing the seas. Arms war. Arms See, war. Arms war. Arms war. <laughs> thank you. It will. It's. 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 It's, it's, it's a very pet the horn. Not. Not a arms race it's a very fast-paced arms race where yeah. who can knock out whose thing next like the russians said we got things and good us into making the fucking rap for god's sakes mm -hmm. and have us have, have that just fucking smoking mirrors yeah it's a shame so it is it is a shame but again can you like trust what the russians say half the time you know no i know let's be serious we have not lost nearly all of our fucking war aged men like Hmm. <laughs> uh, be a lot of male order brides coming next 10 years is all I'm fucking saying yeah anyway anyway look let's wrap up because otherwise we'll, we'll save all that stuff for a different video so we will and also tell us why we're An another schizoid uh, rant, uh, ranting video I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to hear why the fuck we're absolutely tards and we have no God idea God a fucking wearaboo suck my dick I think everyone <laughs> is though when it comes to like German tanks of World War 2 like they were just STG 44 just <sighs> no but like honestly the German stuff of World War 2 you can't again it was flashy but it just uh, if their leadership was better Kino, dude. it was it was that was one thing i will give them you know they with the, everything the, the thing is the kdr was higher but they couldn't keep up with that other part of the kdr like you lose one panther you're like oh fuck there goes a whole month month, month of work yeah you're being bombed from the skies by fucking every nation and your, your factories are getting fucking put underground and fucking train caves and yeah. shit. Yeah, I honestly what do you call that, what do you call the Russian tank of World War II? I just, I don't care if you can make out, if you can shit out 50 billion of them a day, you know what I mean? They're still just... There's, you may have one, but your tank's still shit. Yeah, uh. <laughs> like just, just, I know, I know I know, I know resources matter, and I know but it's just... I'm sorry, but I, I your I'm, tank's I, ugly. You're ugly. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, look, I'm a sucker for aesthetic, okay? And mm. honest, I, for flash. Yeah, I love the flash. Yeah. Oh, someone's gonna cut that. It's like oh, oh, James Garber, flash, flash, fascist. <laughs> I can already hear that in the comments. Ugh. So they finally learned the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, they've I, solved the riddle. Oh, no. <laughs> Honestly, uh, no, right. I'm not going to talk anymore because otherwise I'm just going to keep bringing shit up. And I feel like it's... Keep, keep rambling. Yeah, well, I'll just keep bringing shit up. Is it, oh, yeah, what about this? So oh, that's really cool. Oh, this is really cool too. That's really cool. Honestly, I feel like now thinking about it, I do you think I'm more of like an airplane guy than a tanks guy? The more Dirty I... Dirty air fag. I do, I do, I do. I'm, I like airplane. If I go zoom... <laughs> You were the kid who's like, here comes the airplane. You go, oh boy, more spaghetti and noodles. Here comes the airplane. Open up, Jamesy. Oh. 9 11 really did a number in your American stunt. <laughs> <laughs> My airplane! <laughs> Uh, Wait, <laughs> Honestly, you know what, dude? I bought I bought an air ticket and I got charged a post 9/11 security fee. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? The fuck does mean? Oh, you know the worst. I got pay fee. I got pay fee to have a phone fucking touch my grundle for a fucking thirty seconds. And you know the worst, guys. It's like, why do you have to have all illusion? That? What? Illusion of security, it's all it is. Yeah, and like the thing is, they haven't even done it again since, so like, fucking wise up. Well, we did kind of ravage their entire country with fucking bombs and tanks for about 20 fucking years, yeah. so hopefully they learn. Yeah, <laughs> so like, can we not like, just like, oh, I mean, honestly, airport security is a pain in the deck, so it is. You know what I mean? I just fucking hate it. Uh, is that a fucking bottle of water, you son of a bitch? I know, I know. Oh, mate. It, it's by the Santi. <laughs> Throw it away! <laughs>
<laughs> Need to stop these shit worders with us. Oh, my God. Shit worder. Like, anyway, we're going to go, guys. Uh, let us know why we're absolutely <laughs> fucking ridiculous. Let us know why we have no idea what we're talking about and why everything we said was completely wrong. You um, guys are fucking retarded. Fuck you. Eat my ass. Yep. Yeah. Standard comment section on the video. <laughs> video. Uh, honestly, I think you're very negative. I think you, only, you don't get half as many <laughs> comments slagging you off as what you used to. What you used to. say that, but <laughs> what we used to, yeah. Yeah. You, Where's you, Megan? I hate this guy. <laughs> well, Megan, Megan just doesn't really play war games anymore. You know what I mean? Or she doesn't play role playing games all that much, and she hasn't since all. Yeah, she grew bored. up. She had a kid. Got yeah. Bored. So like, you know, it's one. Of, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's one of those ones. Like, if she's just repeating herself all the time, it's kind of it doesn't. It's not all that interesting. Do you know what I mean? And I and I like doing what we do with Gumroad, and I really like what we're doing with Turn Me Online, and like. You know, I do feel like we were doing. There's one thing she likes is fucking cringe ass Reddit posts. <laughs> yeah, so, so, I'll I tell you what. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! And you don't even want to see the shit that's on Terminal. Another like, new right. cuck Reddit post. Let's go. <laughs> Man, uh, you know what? Last week was the first time we did a cuck post in absolutely forever. You know what I mean? I sent you that one the other day, so I did whatever we did. Yeah, up. thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks for ruining my entire day. <laughs> yeah. Right. Anyway. Anyway. Look, check that out, right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let us know what you think. Down below and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. I like airplanes. <laughs>